This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Well, hello there. Welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today we have zao. Zao. Now, depending on how you pronounce it and whatever, maybe it's zao. Okay, there's a, there's a, uh, a, a rock band. I don't know if they're metal or hardcore or what, but zao. I live what it means, okay? Now, it's a contract verb, like agapao. So in the New Testament, you're not going to find zao, I live. You would find the contract zo, I live, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, it means to be alive physically, okay? So to live, uh, this is of the physical life in contrast to death, However, it can be used of dead persons who return to life. Uh, so become alive again. Okay? This can be used of sick persons if their illness terminates not in death, but in recovery. So translated, be well, recover. It can also be of healthy persons, live on, remain alive, something like that. Of beings that in reality, or as they are portrayed, are not subject to death, like Melchizedek. Uh, Jesus as everlasting high priest. Um, now, with mention of that upon which life depends, you translate it, um, on the basis of something, to live on bread, uh, zao, Ep arto. It's probably not zao. It's probably like zain. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Actually, what is the infinitive? I don't know. So live on bread. Matthew four four. Luke four four. Obtain one's living. Ectinos. Uh, so it could, it could be living for something. Now, a second gloss is to live in a transcendent sense. This is the sanctified life of a child of God, where zine in the sense of a higher type of life than the animal is in view. Okay? Uh, in the world, uh, ego etzon choris nomo, uh, nomu pote. I was once truly alive without law um was this from romans yeah romans 7 it could also be in the glory of the life to come that is eternal life a third gloss is to conduct oneself in a pattern of behavior live and it's used with adverbs or other modifiers A fourth gloss is to be full of vitality, be lively. The participle is used figuratively with respect to things like uh, a water spring, cistern water. Um, and a fifth gloss is to be life productive, offer life. The participle is used with respect to things, uh, words that meant life, Acts 7.38, logia zonta. Um, odos zotsa, zosa, a living way. Elpis zosa, a living hope. And there you have it. That's today's Greek word of the day. I live, zao. Zao. All right. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. But regardless, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get notifications. Come back again tomorrow. We'll have another one for you then. Bye-bye.